All right, guys, welcome back to another video. Today, we have the CF Moto here sitting. We're at my boy's house and we're gonna be wrapping it. Super excited because this thing already looks neat enough how it is. <laughs> this, but like, they want yeah. <laughs> Just taking off the windscreen. I'm gonna be wrapping this entire CF Moto. This side by side here is a CF Moto. We got it fully stripped down, cleaned, all the decals removed, and we're gonna be wrapping it in this purple black iridescent. We did quite a few cars in this. We did a couple M3s, really nice color, and it's gonna look even better on the trails with this thing. So it's fully stripped down, not too many pieces to go over, but we got a couple little parts that might be kind of fun. <clears throat> okay. All right, we're gonna get started with the door, kind of just a flat little panel, feel it out. We went around and cleaned as much as we can because these things get absolutely filthy and this is looking almost showroom ready, but... <laughs> Still a little dusty, so let's go ahead and get started with this door. All right, we just got the first panel stretched on. This is gonna be the door, and looks pretty sick already. It's gonna be pretty aggressive looking. It's not gonna be too much purple on it, it's just gonna be more of an accent. Obviously, most of this unit is a black kind of uh, plastic trim, just much like uh, trim on Jeeps and some truck door uh, mirrors and whatnot, but it'll be a nice little accent and you see what it goes. And then again, this is just for fun. It's not a car, it's just a kind of a toy at the end of the day. So whatever works, works as long as you can have fun on it. So let's go ahead, start getting this one a little more laid out and uh, get back to it. But I have to say it feels nice wrapping again. I haven't wrapped anything in quite some time, so it feels good to be back again. Got a heat gun, we're out of Princess Auto. Check this, this crazy R8 action drove by. I'm gonna go and film it quickly. Uh, we're using Nathan's heat gun and it kept dying nonstop. So I ended up going to Princess Auto to pick this up. So this first gen R8, this thing's pretty clean. It pulled up, sounded nice. It looks slammed. That does like, especially in the front, that doesn't look like an OEM, OEM height. Looks like it's uh, seen some kilometers but super cool. All right, I'm gonna go ahead to Nathan's, a little cloudy out, I'm gonna go finish up the side-by-side. -side. All right, this is what we're driving in today. We got the nice old RAV4. So we got our heat gun, put some power in the old Toyota. There's some nice houses on the side of this uh, road here on the way up to his subdivision. But we're just driving, we've got our heat gun, my orange juice, we're about to be there momentarily. It's like Ken Block style Ford Ranger with that massive blower on the front. You pick up, man, this thing's dirty. Nice rims on it. Getting into the wrap layer. This is where we left off. We pretty much got this front piece done and this door issue was is we were using this heat gun with a battery and literally every single panel we'd have to like recharge it two times it just was not enough juice to keep going so that's why i ended up going out to buy us a proper one so we can pump through this like no tomorrow because honestly there's not much left to it uh even for like these parts like the longest part for these sections that we did, the longest part was recharging the heat gun every time. So now it should go very smooth and we'll start putting panels on like butter.
looks pretty slick, but obviously we'll have to pull it out in the sun and see how it actually looks. 12 seconds later. All right, we got the CF Moto fully wrapped. As you see, we don't have an emblem on it. We have a little surprise coming for that. Hard to tell in the garage, but it is purple black iridescent. We're mostly seeing black. I got a flashlight on. Looks pretty aggressive. But mostly black like these angles it just looks black at least on the the camera you get up and then you get that nice purple and then the back unfortunately you like you don't get any color from the back which kind of sucks but like even bro if you could like do a little bit like here you know like some stripes like even if you just like went here and like kind of did like that little back piece or even the fenders a little bit of something, but all in all, it looks sick. wasn't too hard. It was about like one day full work. We'll pull it out another day and get some more photos in the sun. Ah. Well, <laughs> we almost got her in. <laughs> no. Lift a Corolla. Look at that fucking thing, man. Got the U-Haul, the CF Moto finally wrapped. First time taking it out, hitting the trails. Little final piece, world's first. Just unloading the quad. You're gonna roll right off of them, Gabe, a little bit. Oh, good. Like a dream. Like a dream. Now we're good. We're good. There he is. Delta departure. Quick little stop just outside. We hit a little bit of a trail. We're at this gas station, fueling up. Crossing the highway. We're stuck in the middle of the highway right now. He's waiting on all these cars to pass by and then we're gonna go. Another highway crossing.
lookout spot we just got to. So, I'm glad to tell you, they're pulling up to the ocean.